What is BIM? BIM stands for Building Information Model, Modeling or Management. When you search BIM, you will find many pictures like these, 3D building images that float around a central thing in the middle. Most of the time, there is some kind of vague black box in the middle. Other representations about BIM show fancy 3D pictures and nice images of complex buildings. Most of the time, these images come simultaneously with the comment that BIM is not just 3D, but so much more. We've seen presentations showing BIM goes up to 11D. The more people think and talk about BIM, the bigger it seems to get, and the more complex and vague it becomes. So let's break it down to its base. Usually, a project in our industry starts with an idea. This idea has to be communicated to others to make it a reality. To make sure the ideas and thoughts that live in the head of one person is exchanged in the correct way, we invented drawings. Over the years, lots of standard has been created on how to lay out and annotate drawings. Educated and trained people knew about line thickness, hatching, etc. For years, this was the only way to communicate between people in our industry, and for millennia, it worked fine. Then, computers came into the picture. Our industry was very eager to use computers to create drawings. Computers had many advantages, and the usage of computers to create drawings was adopted very rapidly by the industry. But in essence, the output was still the same, a drawing. A drawing that was used as an intermediate to exchange ideas between humans. Use of a computer to make drawings was efficient, but computers can do so much more. In 1987, Graphisoft introduced the virtual building concept with the release of Archicad. The virtual building concept basically is the first practical implementation of what we call BIM today. More on that in a separate course about the history of BIM. Archicad was not a software tool where a user created drawings. It was a software tool where a user could virtually construct a building with intelligent objects. The objects had properties and relations to each other. There was interaction between the objects when a user changed something. Adding a window on a location of a wall automatically created an opening and connection details. The floor plans and views were generated by the computer. Changes were only needed once in the virtual model, instead of multiple times on several different drawings. In 2000, the software tool Revit was released with the intent of bringing the power of parametric modeling to the building industry. Autodesk bought the Revit Technology Corporation in 2002. Nowadays, there are thousands of software tools for the construction industry that use an internal virtual model to generate extracts. The big difference between creating drawings is that BIM harnesses the power of a computer to automate certain tasks. In general, we say that a BIM dataset is a collection of objects with relations and with properties. In practice, there are usually additional features like semantics, parameters, links to other data sources, etc.